the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, yeah. Nine and seven last year to win the division championship. They are minus 125 at Vegas. Strength of schedule, number 29. Way on down there. Turnover margin last year, they were 25th in the league at minus six. Uh, they, they really should have been better. Um, they dom- they've dominated early down success rate on offense and defense the last two years. Uh, last year, like with Carson Wentz, how they lost some of those games early, I have no idea. I don't know how they went nine and seven last year. I got um, for that. <laughs> their uh, over under is nine and a half. To go over is minus 175. Under is plus 155. Uh, total yards per play, they were number 16 on offense, 5.6 yards per play. Uh, on defense, number 24 with 5.8 yards per play given up. Offense coordinators might grow. Uh, they traded for wide receiver Deshaun Jackson. They drafted running back Miles Sanders, who was expected to start this year. And wide receiver J.J. Arcega-Whiteside, who we loved at Stanford. I was just about to say, yeah. that kid's going to – their receiving core is substantially better. Their backfield is a lot better. They got to stop leaning so much on Carson Wentz. I think Carson Wentz is good. We saw this MVP season of him before he got hurt. Yep. I I don't think that that's natural. I don't think that that's real. I think that was a one-time thing, which is why they leaned on him last year. He couldn't come close to replicating it. Not close to replicating it. This year, he won't have to. And that's good. Defensive coordinator Jim Schwartz, by the way, signed defensive tackle uh, Malik Jackson and defensive end Vinny Curry. Uh, both of those guys are going to be basically backups. This, um, this team, this team is the best team in the league, talent-wise, in the trenches on both sides of the ball. Yes, that's why early downs on offense and early downs on defense, they're the best in the league. And they still play with a chip on their shoulder. Like that, oh, Fletcher yeah. Cox, it, like these guys, still pay attention ne- to ESPN, and when they don't get the never credit, never gets that, credit. Yeah, when they don't get the credit that they feel like they deserve. Nobody has loved Fletcher Cox oh. like we have. I. Th- think he's in the realm of one of the best defensive players in the league. Yes. And he doesn't get that love. And it, uh, it drives me insane because people don't know how to watch football. Yes. They're projected favorites in 11 games. Like I said, the over-under is 9.5. I've got them at 11-5 and five this year. I got them 12-4. and four. Ooh, Yeah, we're yes, close. Sir. I like this team a lot. May, so I think they need to do – now, heaven forbid me tell a Super Bowl winning coach how to, how to run his team, but, but I – I think they've got to get rid of this. He wants a committee in the backfield. He wants three, four guys, not just a one-two punch. He wants three, he four, wants maybe lot. five different. He wants to be the Patriots in the backfield. The problem is, is he's never had a really good running back back there, and now he's got one, and he's yeah. young. Not a lot of miles on him. Get those miles, run Miles Sanders all the way through the ground, and and. Build this offense from the inside out. Your offensive line is really good at pushing folks around. That makes Carson Wentz's job so much easier. Alshon Jeffries is on the other side of his career. Yes. But you got a couple of guys coming here. I love the addition of Whiteside. I'm 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 a fan of this offense. And then on the other side of the defense, I think they're the most talented front seven top to bottom. They don't have a lot of stars. Nobody knows all these guys' names. It's just because people don't pay attention to how defenses are really ran. Yes. This is the most talented front seven in the league. I think this is the best offensive line in the league. I think Carson Wentz is good, not great, but I think he's going to have one of his best years ever. He doesn't he's he's above do, average. He, oh, he's way above average, yeah. but he doesn't have to be Superman. I think last year he tried to be that MVP guy. Well, I think there was so much competition between him and Foles. He wanted to prove that, hey, you, you're still – Good with me. Like you're I still don't think better. He had the offensive skill players around him for him to be successful at all. No. Deshaun Jackson is going to be what Deshaun Jackson is. Once or twice a game, Wentz is going to throw the ball up for a 30, 40 yard bomb, and Deshaun's just going to take it to the house. He's going to yeah. catch one ball for 70 yards and a touchdown, and it's going to it's going to flip a game. Yeah, I like this team a whole lot. Let's move on.